I think something to really hone in on is the importance of data in this conversation and accountability. You kind of can't fix what you don't know. So if you just leadership says, oh, well, it's nice to increase our diversity numbers, but you don't know what those numbers are. You don't know how bad things are. You can't really move the needle in any way. And that accountability piece, putting out a report every year where you say, Ugh, the numbers really haven't moved at all, is also an important piece of this. And one of the things I just want to, of course, and actually, Kelsey, thank you for bringing that up, because I was thinking about that, how hard it is to get, when I do, are we, when my firm does its work, we always say you have to be start with transparency. They can look around and see it anyway. So what are you really hiding? I mean, it's interesting how companies don't want to break down the data. You know, we have X number of people of color. Well, what color are they, right? <laughs> what's, what's going on there? And one of the leaders, to his credit, he felt very proud of, you know, his numbers, et cetera. And then he really looked at the numbers and realized where the, the gaps were. And he did come up with a narrative that was about opportunity gaps, so that it wasn't all negative as you looked at it. And you do need to deal with the fact that some people are feeling like, am I losing as you're winning and how you think about that. So again, these are not easy narratives to sort of put together. And if you aren't committed from a moral point of view or what I don't know what the word to use for it, fundamentally, you think it's the right thing to be doing. It is really hard work. So when this leader discovered what the reality really was, uh, in his own group, he began to say, we got to adjust what you said, Kelsey, we got to we got to put these numbers up on the wall, everybody needs to see them. And we'll see how fast they move some the, and they're not moving as quickly as some people would like. But in fact, unless you do that, as you know, where you, where you are, where you're starting, there's no way you're going to be able to make progress. And it was for him. And, and again, I said, you can see it because you can walk around and look really and figure it out. But once you start putting that stuff up and you're showing it to the to the board, or even to your own team, frankly, uh, it is a very different kind of conversation than when you can all be kind of fuzzy about what's really the reality of equity right here. And it's not about blaming people. It's about finding out what are those numbers. Let's get at root cause and see how we are going to begin to make progress and what are going to be our, our milestones to know that we actually are making some making some progress.